hi guys welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new here welcome and if you're a returning subscriber welcome back to the channel you guys if you have not subscribed to my channel please 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 subscribe to my youtube channel i'm almost at 1000 i'm so excited i feel like i'm going to cry when i get to 1000 subscribers because it has been a long time coming so if you have not subscribed please subscribe to my channel if you like this video give it a big thumbs up share leave a comment in the comment section below let me know what you think ask me more questions and i'll be more than excited to answer your questions so back to school season is upon us and that means that not only are um, people going back to school, people are relocating, moving from their countries, going for their masters, undergraduate program. I have decided to do a five-part series for you guys, a four-part series for you guys, um, just around um, preparing you to come, where, go wherever you go, you're going to, whichever country you're going to, whether it comes to UK, US, Australia, whichever country you're going to. So it's going to be centered around preparing you to um on how to pack what to do how to navigate your life good stuff basically um, so it's going to be a four part series or let me say five part series and i've posted the first one which is the accommodation video so if you haven't haven't watched um the accommodation video i posted three weeks ago two weeks ago you should definitely check it out i'm going to link it somewhere and i'll also leave a link in the description box below for you guys so if you haven't watched that video be sure to check it out below in the comment section not in the comment section in the description box so let's call today's video part two in part two of today's video i'm going to be um telling you guys how to pack and what to pack because when I was coming to the UK, I watched a lot of those kinds of videos and they were really helpful for me. So I just started to give my own input and I'm going to be doing something very interesting. I'm going to be showing you guys or reading out my actual, actual packing lists that I wrote and that I used when I was coming so i'm going to just read it out for you guys get your papers your bios everything and be ready i'm going to start by um giving you guys my tips and just if i remember anything along the way i'm going to just drop it let's see how this video goes so the first thing i'm going to tell you guys is to buy a bag scale because you only have um 23 23 that's 46 kg bags checked in and also a 10 kg um, carry-on bag and one hand bag you have really limited um, things to pack so it will be better for you to know that you've gone overboard at home and finding that out at the airport and then having to throw away all your things or return it back home so just it's better to buy a bag skill i got my own um junior and then it was really cheap the second thing i'm going to tell you guys is to not forget your documents for most people that are um coming for their masters undergraduates i don't think they're planning to like go back immediately after i would advise that when you're coming take all your documents like every single thing you guys i took my tuberculosis test um you know you guys will know this the the paper the pay slip like your debit alert when you pay for tuberculosis test i took it i brought every single thing i know that that's a bit extra but you guys that's how much you should bring like bring every single document and also you should scan your document do not forget to scan your document because you don't want to hear stories that touch so second second tip is to pack all your documents third tips third tip <laughs> third tip is to um scan all your documents before you leave and then sub tip on that document is to pack your documents in your hand bag you guys never ever ever put your documents in your checking bags because one you can go missing 
well, that's going to not happen. But okay, secondly, when you get to immigration, right, they're going to ask you for some documents. You don't want to say, oh, I need to go and get my checking bag because you're going to have to go through immigration to go and get your bags, right? So put your documents in your handbag, not even your not even your car, not even your like the one you, your cabin box, not your cabin box, your handbag, the one that is going to be with you until you get to your final destination, right? The fourth thing will be to pack all your liquid everything in your in the bags you're checking in because you don't want, especially if you're stopping over, right? You don't know the laws in the place you're um what's this? What's this? You're connecting through the airport, you're connecting through, or the country you're connecting through. So it's just better to avoid story that touch, right? Because I remember when I was traveling to the US, um, they allowed me to take something to leave Nigeria, but they, they didn't allow me to um, take it into Qatar, into, is it Qatar, into Doha, into Doha airport. They didn't allow me to do that, even if I could take it into the US. So if you're connecting, just avoid stories that touch and check in all your liquids check in all your spice spices check in every single one of your spices again you do not want to hear stories that touch especially if you're connecting so it's just best to check it in i'll show you how to pack everything i'll show you how to make sure that you don't open your box and find it empty find your pepper missing because <laughs> that's happened to me before i did not find my milk again because they removed it so stay tuned till the end for that another tip here will be to put change of clothes and toiletries in your handbag especially if you're having a connecting flight if you're connecting right especially if you're going through um if you're going with qatar airways you're going with um um i think i can't remember the rest but i know qatar they have really long haul flights so if you're connecting through Doha, I don't know the other airports, put your change of clothes, change of clothes and toiletries will really come in handy. The next tip will be to buy a snack. Oh my God, I cannot tell you guys how important this is. When I, when I did my stopover, when I stopped over at, um, where did I stop over? Istanbul, <laughs> I can't remember. When I stopped over at Istanbul, it was so confusing. Um, like to buy something i didn't know what they were i didn't know i had issues um converting my um money and i eventually spent over 30 pounds to buy if you check if you watch my travel vlog you see what i got i eventually spent 30 pounds to buy just one flat thingy so thank god i had my biscuit and also on the plane if um, they don't serve the food early if you don't like the food you can just whip up whip out your snack the final tip i will be giving for now would be to um also put your laptops and your expensive jewelries inside your um your handbag or your ha or your hand luggage your cabin box jewelries laptop gadgets um money um just anything that is valuable to you that's if it goes missing, it will really pain you and you might not be able to retrieve. Put them in your hand luggage. Prioritize those in your hand luggage, especially laptops, because it can get broken because of the way they handle the boxes, right? So it can get broken, it can get stolen, anything can happen. Yeah, so those are my tips on packing and what to pack and, you know, all those good stuff. So now I'm going to share my own packing list and I'll tell you guys the things that I have personally found very useful and the things that I have actually never the first thing on my list is body towel and hand towel um, hmm, is that necessary I think you can just get a small towel I got a hand towel for my face I just get a hand towel for your face and then just a small towel you can buy when you come here I will not put that as a priority the second thing on my list is passport pictures so you guys it is so important for you to get passport pictures because you might be applying for something and they would need um they will ask you for passport pictures 
so I, I don't really know the process of taking a passport here but what I did I I took passport pictures and then I scanned them so for online applications right I just upload the one i already um scanned on my phone the second thing on my list is sanitary pad and which i put in in a bracket just for one cycle okay so that's important but don't bring more than one for one cycle you see it in audi every single store you see it and it's cheap so don't bring more than for one cycle um the next thing on my list is adapter that's not necessary we have the same um we have the same sockets with the UK. I have extension box, so I would say that it is necessary because extension boxes here are kind of expensive. The one I got here was like £25. The next on my list is box sets. So I got a box of three. I got, um, I can't bring it now, sorry, it's too heavy. I got these plastic boxes because it was cute. <laughs> but some people say um, cloth boxes are um lighter so you'll be able to put more things you can also get duffel bags that one is absolutely light so you'll be able to put more things but the reason i didn't get cloth bags was because it's easy to um tear through someone can tear through your box the next thing was a file bag that one is necessary just buy a file bag that you will put your documents the documents that you currently have into so don't stress too much about um buying so many we have them here at wilco the next on my list is <laughs> utensils mm -mm, mm -mm. so the next thing on my list is baiting soap and i put one if you have like special soaps maybe like you use a kind of medicated soap you can also bring that but if you don't use a medicated soap right don't be scared that oh my skin is going to react that but you will find your way around it i wrote mini conflicts you know the small conflicts boxes that you find in uh, i think it's in shop right i wrote that but i didn't buy it um, i wrote body cream i just brought the body cream i was currently using i don't think that's necessary because you will see dove you will see nivea you will see most of the a lot of body creams that we see in nigeria you see them here and for cheap if you don't have enough space i would say you should leave that one out i wrote stationary pen you can just have one to write in case you remember something on the flight <laughs> but i mean you have your phone notepad for that so you can just buy one shot and then the next thing on my list is medicine so i got mostly actually right here malaria typhoid panadol vitamin c ibuprofen it's not important you find stronger ones here that you can buy over the counter even if you want to get um multivitamins you can get them here in random audi the next thing on my list is toothbrush and toothpaste just get one toothbrush and one toothpaste in case you're having a stopover get the small one and the next on my list is toilet paper one in case you have any emergency and then i got one notebook i can't my do not my do notebook is inside right but it's just something like this that's what i've been using for my school right and i'm still using it i'm still going to use it till i finish school <laughs> i'm not copying notes it's not secondary school it's underwear tights maybe three i wrote three leggings the leggings i got right don't buy leggings let me just tell you the less the leggings i got right the first time i ever went out i almost froze and i was wearing one of those leggings i brought from nigeria don't buy it when you get when you get here you go to primark and you buy thicker ones remember that you want to pack as much um important things as possible because you have limited space and also it's already getting very cold now it's already entering 15 14 degrees so that's really cold i got socks hmm socks just 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 bring the one you are wearing next thing i wrote on my list is sneakers did i get i got one from nigeria i've done it to gym shoe <laughs> you're going to find better ones here for cheaper i'm going to leave my um link i have a discount link for you guys to shop on um ego ego so you get 25 is it 25 or 20 percent off your first order i got those boots for like 4.99 each five pounds really good boots you can also shop on just fab your first order on just fab whatever shoe you're buying is going to be 10 pounds but guys what well, if you're taking advantage of this 10 pounds for your first order on just fab thing remember to cancel your sub a membership thing because when you do it when you 
buy a shoe for ten pounds on Just Fab, automatically it signs you up for a membership thingy. So make sure you cancel it before one month. If not, they are going to debit you that seven pounds. I made that mistake and they debited me that seven pounds for membership. Not for buying shoe, for membership. So I'm going to go faster now. I just want to say that you guys, I know you've heard it before. I know people have said it. Like, don't stress too much about clothes. You're coming in the winter. Let me tell you guys, your 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 goal for the first four months, five months. Let me just say your goal till ending of from when you come in September till like I came in March, so till like april or may so your goal from september to may is going to be staying alive <laughs> because it's going to be very cold there's nobody has time for fashion during that period so don't stress yourself too much you're going to find yourself wearing a lot of long sleeve shirts hoodies and winter jackets so don't bother guys don't bring heels for me i got turtleneck and i got like um, turtleneck tops i got three sweaters so if you go to super katangwa you're going to find a lot of sweaters and they are very very useful so you can get like here i wrote two but you can get more i wrote two because i already had lots of sweaters at home so i ended up bringing i brought everything i had i brought it was like seven so bring everything as much as you can pack you get if it's getting too much if your box is over um 23 you can reduce because you can get them on shine this shine shine for like two pounds sweater jeans bring jeans and i call a number just know if it's if you have to remove something from your box you can just remove one or two but for jeans i wrote three then tops like this kind of tops but like long sleeve top gown don't don't bother yourself don't bring any gown here i don't want to see it <laughs> it's where you can just get one corporate tops i brought three corporate tops but i have literally never the only time i wore a corporate top like a collared shirt was to film a video because <laughs> i don't have any other top so don't bother yourself maybe just bring one white one or one black one maybe one black one corporate trouser i wrote three bring one you're fine belt and here yeah, just bring one and then i brought my tiny squishy teddy bear that my husband got for me so if you have anything like that you can bring it i wrote shades but shades would not be important because it's winter and car dresses not necessary hard copy picture yeah you can bring that now pictures are online but if you have hard copy pictures you can bring it to, to decorate your room look at your family remember them whatever bathroom sleepers yeah you can bring it especially if you're living in a shared accommodation hard drive very important bible highlighter mm, if you have one that is at home you can bring it but you'll find it in wilco wigs yeah so if you're a hair person me let me just tell you guys if you can't cut your hair when you are call me because you're not thinking about all these things but if you're a weak person then you can get your wigs hairpiece or airpods if you have those you can bring umbrella i wrote umbrella i never bought and it's not important you find it for two pounds in primark water bottle if it's going to cost you space don't bother you find it for pri in primark it's on max i can't remember but it was like two pounds or three pounds i can't remember backpack backpack and tote bags are really important because well you can get tote bags for like going to school whatever i wrote chain bag here <laughs> you know this bag that has chain i didn't bring it and you don't need it hot water bottle for cramps i didn't bring it someone eventually got it from me from amazon but you can just get one but you can find those on Amazon. Remember, when I say any, everything I've said, like, not really. If you have space co constraints, don't bring them. It's not important. You'll find them here. I wrote blazer here. <laughs> don't, don't bring blazer. Power bank is very important. Button, thread, needle, very important because it costs a lot to fix clothes here. Perhaps for because it's winter you need to protect your neck so yeah you can get like three thick ones two corporate shoes nah head warmers and beanies you can just get two but please let me just beg you don't buy you see if i'll put a picture the head warmer i wore when i was coming here don't bring it it has holes it makes you look like a johnny just come <laughs> and it's not fine and it's, it's not useful because 
you will still get cold through the hole so i wrote eye pencils yeah i got those i wrote pores mm, if you have a pores you can bring if not you can buy from primark i wrote apple cord oh my god it's so important bring your charger it's really expensive here hair clipper if you're a guy you should definitely get like all these small hair clippers my husband's own is far what i've shown you guys but yeah i just get it to just like you know shave yourself be clean one other thing i did not um right because i didn't need it was driver's license if you drive in nigeria there's something called international driver's license you can get it from nigeria so there are jobs here that you would easily get if you know how to drive yeah so guys that is all on my list so this is what i feel is very important in packing much more than clothes <laughs> much more than stationaries so listen and listen attentively so personally i'm not really big on food but um so i didn't bring like a lot of things that other people would bring like vegetables like why are you bringing vegetables have you been to waitress there's we have vegetables here please please i'm not in the cave <laughs> unless maybe like utazi leaf you can even get it here um i don't know the kind of leaves but we have vegetables please don't bring vegetables don't bring ubu here i don't want to see it i'll check your boxes <laughs> don't bring ubu here um and that thing i didn't bring i didn't bring stock fish but people like it so you can bring that i only bought crayfish when me i was coming because i like crayfish but my husband doesn't like crayfish, so i've actually never used the plenty crayfish i brought when i was coming so at the end of the day it depends on what you like and what's very important to you me i i what was important to me was pepper so i brought a lot of pepper like warm paints of powdered pepper i got that so on my list here i just have pound i got three medium bags of pound i got a good i say a goosey a goosey i got ginger powder garlic milk, maggi i got two sachets of those and one tip for you is to open it up and like sprinkle it inside your bag right i got pap dried catfish suya pepper curry thyme iru kilishi so i'm a very basic girl when it comes to food i didn't really the most Im the important things to me were my spices and as you can see getting one paint of um ground pepper that's kind of girl i am so how to pack these things guys you need to get a paper tape permanent marker and ziploc bags so when me i was coming i didn't get ziploc bags i got it i got this i think it's called freezer bags and then for things like um the spices i just poured them inside this transparent bag it has to be transparent you guys that's one way to avoid um if they do open your bag because not everybody's bag they end up opening but if they open your bag you don't want them to have to be tearing through black nylons right so just get a transparent bag so, and then your with your tape that you've got in your paper tape you just tape it on it and then use a permanent marker to write the name for things like iru um egusi you have to write the english name you get iru now dried locust beans egusi powdered melon seeds just so that it would relate they'll be able to relate more to the food right something they know is something like, oh they know what melon is they know what melon seeds are and it's processed and guess what when something is processed it kills the bacteria in it so i know that if you're going to the u.s like they don't like bringing in food stuff into their country because of bacteria right because of um, pests right so when you say processed that means that it has gone through a process of refining which means that the pests or bacteria would have died so use that word a lot if you see when my husband was coming everything that he processed processed this process that so just label yourself this is another way you can pack it no you don't need to do this you don't need to put curry inside here honestly but you can get like this kind of bags the reason why these kind of bags are less efficient is that it can pop out right so and then your food stuff will pour so you just get this kind of transfer so i'm just um editing this video and i find that 
the remaining part of the video is missing like where did you go to <laughs> so actually i was done that was the last thing i was going to say um before saying this <laughs> subscribe share like leave a comment you guys we are almost at 1000 subscribers please subscribe like share get people to subscribe oh the light is too much in my face get people to subscribe like share please guys leave a comment let me know what you guys think let me know if i forgot anything if you're in the uk or if you're you've moved for school or whatever and i missed out anything leave it in the comment section and yeah let's learn i'll see you guys in my next video bye